Welcome, Sagittarius Capricorn, to your January Astro Dice reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Happy New Year's to everyone. Okay. Hoping this year is a lot better than last year. Okay. See what's going on with you, my friends. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe. straight in here we have the sun coming out for you with Aries as the zodiac in the third house very nice nice energy nice fiery energy coming out for you in the in this month okay so getting straight into the sun talking about the soul Doing things for yourself this month. Thinking about your purpose, your destiny, and things that you need to take care of for yourself. The sun is kind of self-involved and that's good. We need to take care of ourselves. Okay, with Aries, and you're going to be doing this with the energy around you is dynamic and spontaneous. Crusading impulsive actions is likely. It's very good though. Um, <clears throat> with all this fire coming out, it's really going to bring that... Um, Fire within you, Sag Cap, to really explode, getting things done passionately. And uh, and with this Aries, yeah, it's going to be dynamic. Very nice. Getting straight into the third house. This month is talking about the third house. Nice. The potential to learn something in your local neighborhood. It's also talking about... The way you communicate, think, and learn um, it could be involving your brothers, sisters, your siblings, your family, your neighbors, things of this nature. So, okay. So getting straight into the beginning of the month for you. It could be learning something. It could be even learning something about somebody. Please, for Sag Cap. Think of the month for Sag Cap, please. Having a tower moment. I also feel like it's inspiration, though. Um, actually, I feel whatever you might be bailing out of um, in your energy of this sun, um, this destiny, is kind of like you're bailing out of one path. Um, and finding this new inspiration in the very beginning of the month could be even doing it um, bailing out away from a Scorpio um, but however it is it feels like this bailing out of a way of maybe just thinking about what is going on within your purpose and destiny finding something different yeah it feels like you've been manifesting yeah you're taking on that manifestation that's that taking action too. So there's that dynamic, spontaneous wanting to get things done, feeling more inspired to do something. Yeah. And moving fast. So it feels like you have been learning. Um, with the Six of Swords coming up in the third house, it's like you've been moving towards this. You've been learning things. Um, maybe you have learned something and you're saying this is not um, this is not suiting my purpose over here. Seven of Cups, finding new options, maybe even finding a lot of ways to multitask this month um, to keep yourself going with the Six of Swords. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus as well. Um, but that's also that Aries, here comes that Aries, and that's really putting you into that Emperor mode over here in the Aries area. This is where that impulsive action is coming from. So it's like taking action with dynamic and spontaneous feeling like the emperor you have the ball in your court you are in control and you're not going to allow anyone to take that control away from you at this time um wow with that aries coming in with the emperor dynamic because the the emperor is a very powerful person of course right so and it could even be that you for some of you you've even gained more maturity throughout whatever you have learned, 
right, with the third house. Showing a lot of passion in learning. Some of you might be um, going to school, deciding to take a new job opportunity. However it is, you're going to do it for yourself. Um, with the Eight of Swords coming in in the mid-month, with the Chariot, wow, and the Eight of Pentacles upside down. Um, you're not focused anymore um, as much um, on the third house. It almost feels like in the middle of the month, within the third house, you've learned what you need to learn. Um, you've manifested what you want. Um, so it doesn't, it feels like a person though to you guys. It feels like you're not going towards this one person. You've learned something about them. Um, like it, it could be a brother or sister, someone in the neighborhood, a co-worker, could be anyone. Um, but you are doing things for yourself. Not going to allow yourself to be trapped in fear, but it does feel like there is a little anxiety going on um, during the mid-month. It feels like even though you're not focusing on them as much, there's still this piece of anxiety that is kind of still stuck within you. Getting after your prosperities. Yeah, you have a... There was a message that's coming in, and that could be what is kind of keeping you in your head a little bit. It could have been from a Libra or a Taurus. It could be the mother, a mother-in-law, um, an older woman. Hmm. But you're keeping hopeful. Even though you're not focused, you still have the belief system over here and that's keeping you hopeful. Um, but it just feels like you really are just kind of ignoring the message, not moving towards that. And like I said, not really moving a whole lot towards the learning piece of the third house during the mid-month because it just feels like you're just kind of just taking action. You know where you're supposed to be and you're like, I don't need to really worry about learning any more of that. I think I figured it out. <laughs> yeah, definitely when you were the emperor. So but it does look like you do have a message coming in that you are going to ignore. Um, because you know it's going to keep you in your head. Or they already put you in your head, right? <clears throat> but it does feel like this person, whoever this person is, gives you a lot of anxiety anyways. Yeah. There's that neglect. Yeah, you're neglecting them. It doesn't look like a whole lot like they're neglecting you. It looks like they're trying to message you and you're rejecting them. And it could be because they left you out in the cold once before. And this is why you're finding this new destiny. Um, could be an ex coming back to try to offer you love um, and you're just really ignoring it going for your five of cups over here you have the understanding that you're not going to allow this this person back in um, I think this is where the tower came in when you had that big boom in the very beginning of the month doing things for yourself yeah the devil upside down having the realization of where the relationship was going um, you definitely learned something here, Sage Cap, that kept you moving away from this person. Something came up, and it, it feels like it could have come up during Christmas time um, last month in December, somewhere around there, that had you thinking about what this person is doing, where is my life going, um, and really now doing things for yourself, not really worrying about them. Yeah, could be dealing with an Aquarius. There's that Scorpio again. So somebody definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio um, or Taurus. But you have the logical understanding that this is not where you want to be. Um, they also have the logical understanding that you are trying to get away from them. I mean, this is because, once again, you've learned something toxic from this person and you're not dealing with it anymore so you're moving very nice this month just really yeah going after your ace of cups so whatever it is that you're learning and like I said for some of you might even be learning that you need to go to school um, and that you want to increase your um, education so take it how it resonates because I do see both I really do see both here Okay, so let's see what the overall card is. Hmm. 
Our card is the Major Arcana of the Star. So the Major Arcana is going on really in this is the Devil and the Empress and the Tower and then of course the Emperor. So it's a lot of taking back what's yours. The Chariot of course um, is not dealing with it anymore. So I really do see that you're really on the move over here. Whether you're moving and you've learned something away from someone. Um, reaching to the top for yourself. Um, keeping yourself busy, knowing where you're going. And for, I'm just telling you, whoever this was, was kind of holding you back uh, for somebody, whether it was a job or, um, man, I just, this queen right here, whoever this queen is, is really holding you back. Um, she's got you in your head. So, yeah, but good job. Uh, keep moving forward because, yeah, it looks like you've really... You're really on the move this month, trying to fix things, trying to fix things. And remember, the Ace of Cups is coming up, wanting to get there. So keep the star in mind because it looks like you have hopes and dreams. And, you know, you're doing everything that you want for yourself with the star card. I'm talking about destiny over here. And we have the destiny here. So and the clarity to do so. So it looks great for you guys. And I will see you next time. Peace and love. Bye bye.